Hi, I'm Roth from Bing Bang Boom, and these are my top five clutch moments in PUBG Esports history. This this is probably, for me personally in, in my career, like this is one of the coolest moments for me. I was inspired by all these people to be in this moment. Obviously no one wants to be in the LCQ. Um, no one wants to have it be where you have to win. But going into this game, we knew that if we didn't win this game, our hopes at Worlds, our hopes at our dreams were, were completely washed away. Um, uh, for me specifically, like, um, my, like, it, it is what it is, I don't have any vendetta with ex-teammates, but to be on a new team now, and to have seen them all already qualify, like, I had something to prove. There was an extra chip on my shoulder. I wanted to go to, I wanted to show that I could do it again with a different team, with my boys now, and to have this moment with Sharp and with my guys where we're able to come through and, and close this game out was was incredible um, and kudos to Sharp the man's uh, actual animal. And now it's just a 2v1 for SSG. Can they get the clutch victory in the final game? Can we see the impossible now with SSG clutching out in the final game? Oh yes God. we will! SSG leaving it to the final game. This this one in the top five as well from, from Longster here is, is kind of very similar to everything. Everything has like a common trend here with me. It's like, it's, he's patient. Look at him, he's in the water, all right? When do you see a guy come out of the water to win a game? Now, um, let alone in any game, whether it's a casual, a ranked game that you're playing, or just a scrim. But look, look at him stand up here. He kills all of Root by himself. And then he turns around and kills BXG as well. Um, and to be able to come out of the water and do this is, is incredible. Hands down, one of the most mechanically gifted players in, in the world. There's another? Where did he oh! just come from? Out of nowhere! The beast from the water emerges and now, 1v1, DXG, 40 battles but IQ500 trying to keep cool under pressure. Looks in, gets attacked, but there's a lot to right, but he's won it! He's only gonna want it! These guys are fighting right now, they're fighting the best players in the world. And to be able to, you know, he gets down to at some point he has no HP left and he 1v2s K-Mind and H-Win, who like, you know, H-Win is playing with the Sonic still, K-Mind obviously is retired, but H-Win's a top tier player in the world. And, uh, you know, he still is to this day. So to be able to do that at any point in time is is a feat in its own. So, uh, like, you know, hats off to him. Same! Four kills now from a solo position now in a one versus two. They've got no idea how close he is. Oh, he wants to get up. to the bush. If he can get it, it'll be a quick transfer because they're so close to each other forever. With the two times and a prayer. He's what's H win. He gets his break. Gets and down. he gets K-Mine as well. Get behind the tree. K-Mine lands a tag, but it's not enough. It's only 18 damage. He lands a second one. He gets a third one. Can he land any more? Somehow, forever, one HP! He has somehow stayed alive. K-Mine on four. What a finish. The Rebel oh, went for the hero. Are you serious? Forever. I see it, Burrow, but I don't believe it. That's a bad man. A lot of these moments that we're talking about, it's all about the scope of, of the moment, right? If FaZe didn't have this insane game, if FaZe didn't come through and, and, and win this game, you'd have one of the top tier orgs in, in the European region not qualify for the finals, one of the biggest events in the, in the world. You know, we always talk about FaZe Sunday. We always, you know, everyone goes FaZe Sunday, FaZe Sunday. Like, listen, I'm a competitor. I'm done hearing about it. But with this moment, watching them clutch up, it just proves to everyone how determined not only they were to make that final, but how talented they were, and especially in this iteration of the roster, to be able to have all that pressure. There's so much pressure, and to be able to come out in the final game of their qualifier, of the semifinal, and to put such a big game, 10, 15 plus kills at the end of this, and clutching this win up to solidify their spot in the final is just what makes this moment so memorable. Watching this moment live and just the, the excitement and the anticipation of the nade. He could go for the grenade. He's gonna What's break. he going to do? He's just sneaking up back behind it. Is this going to be the turning point? Can Captain come up big? It's going to land right no. on their feet. Oh, oh my god. Captain. And then it goes off. And this man full solo wipes the entire team. He gets up. He comes over here and he ends up winning this game. And watching 
him end up killing Cow and clutching this game from what seemed almost impossible uh, actually is is one of the reasons why like I wanted to play the game. I wanted to do that. I, I felt I was good enough to, to try to achieve that same level that I'm watching these players do right now. Around one hill, Captain playing around the other. Why kick a Mukau, trying to figure out where these grenades are going to be coming from. Why kick a Mukau, what angle does he have? Everybody's going to be making their way up and forward. And here we go. Circle is closing in. Grenades raining down. You can see Why kick a Mukau trying to get away from it. A lot of damage back over towards him. He's going to have to move in just a second. It is just unrelenting from the amount of grenades that Captain is carrying right now. All that utility they can pick up off of the dead members of 17. He can make it rain here on the Y kick Mooka. Y kick oh. does get the first aid off of that grenade. Just a little oh. too far, but he's so weak. 4 a.m. Getting good. He just misses the shot. He makes it into cover, but it doesn't matter. 4 a.m. Run away with that and get eight kills on the captain. Massive play. Oh, my goodness. Look at this crowd. He has set them on fire. Unbelievable.